Hey guys, um, I didn't post a blog today because there wasn't really anything to blog. Um, with the snow and ice, um, I didn't want to get out and go to a gym and I'm still working on those eating habits. Yeah, maybe. Anyways, um, I, uh, I was just really touched a minute ago and surprised um, a friend of mine offered to work out with me and I feel ashamed but I actually questioned his motives um, you know like why would you want to work out with a fat girl you know kind of thing and I just realized how much my self-esteem has went from like 75 to like zero all over again and it taken me so long to build it up as high as it was and then when he offered to to help me work out and work out with me I was like why you know and that just it blew me away that you know that somebody would offer to do that but at the same time I felt ashamed and embarrassed that I'd actually questioned why he wanted to help me um and I'm sorry about that um but this is why I started this um to get help and to help others and it just I just don't understand why it's hard for me to get help from others or to accept it it's like with compliments if somebody says oh you're looking great you know or you lose weight oh you look so pretty I'm like yeah thanks whatever you know and that's something that I don't tell many people <laughs> um but I really did not, I really did not realize how low that my, my self-esteem had slipped until just now. But I just, I'm thankful that, you know, I feel like God is using this in a way to open my eyes that you know not everybody out there is shallow and there are a lot of heartfelt people out there I know because I am one and a lot of people have taken me for granted and have hurt me to the point of where I questioned everybody's motives you know why are you being nice to me what do you want from me and that's just that's wrong I shouldn't do that because there are generally good people out there it's just taking me now to realize that again so I guess that's my blog for today is um don't take people for granted and you know don't abuse their kindness because not only do you hurt yourself but you hurt them too and they don't deserve that and if you see someone in need if you see some way that you can help someone um, give your time volunteer you know give a little of yourself because it gives back to you so much in return I love volunteering and um, it gives me so much joy um, that, you know, I don't, I don't even think of it as volunteering. I'm, I'm like going to go hang out with friends, you know, but just take a little time out of your day, um, and, and send somebody a note 
just saying hi or you know just call up somebody you haven't talked to in a long time um say something nice to someone if you live with your parents like I do um make sure you thank them um I actually thanked my friend who cooked me dinner tonight I actually told him thank you um he helps um take care of my mom and dad and uh so many times he cooks and he you know helps around the house and stuff and so many times he doesn't get thanked and so I made sure and thanked him today so just be a blessing to someone I guess is what I'm trying to say and you'll get it in return so just try to keep that in mind and I'll see you next time